in my very final conclusion, join me in listening to these wise sayings on murder. One, in the act of murder, one person's life ends, but countless number of lives are forever impacted. I will read again. In an act of murder, one life, one person's life ends, but a countless number of lives are forever impacted. Secondly, mother leaves behind a trail of shattered dreams and broken hearts that can never be healed. Mother leaves behind a trail of shattered dreams and broken hearts that can never be healed. I have said the accused person before me is 33 years. The deceased was 28 years. Thirdly, the act of murder is a heinous crime that challenges the moral fabric of society and demands justice. And so it is not just a loss to the immediate family. Of course, it is in the highest degree, but it's a loss to the society when one is killed unlawfully. And so, based on everything I have said, I have ordered that the first accused person before this court being Joseph Kuria Irungu Alas Joey shall suffer death as provided for the offense of murder under section 204 of the Penal Code of Kenya. And is that sentence is lawfully set aside by a court of competent jurisdiction. That is the order of the court. Thank you. Yes, my lady. Um, for purposes of appeal, um, uh, the prayers we provided the uh, uh, copies of uh, <coughs> copies of the judgments and uh, sentencing decision and uh, judge proceedings. Any other council wish to address the court?
in a language with a sentence, and you still would like a copy of the sentence you use once, once it's available. But we are grateful for the court's indulgence and the way it has handled this one. This one. Yes, Valeri, uh, on behalf of the victim's family, we would also wish to thank the court for sincerely the manner in which the court has handled the proceedings. Uh, the family feels that justice has been done. We also wish that the court supplies us with put in the sentence and judgment to the family. Thank you. Okay. Uh, a right of appeal is a constitutional right which the accused person should feel free to exercise is important. Uh, you are entitled to the proceedings, the judgment uh, that the court will deliver on today's judgment. And when the file was brought to me, and I'm sure by now my judgment, I, it was actually available the same day I delivered before seven. So just ask the Honorable DR to give you the proceedings and the judgment. Uh, I've always said that my judgment is never accessible until I've delivered. My judgment on sentence is here. As I was delivering, I could see quite a bit of typo. So it's just an issue of polishing it. You should have a copy and sign a copy before end of day, and you should have a copy. Okay? So unless there is any other person who is addressing the court, may I have the last bite of the cherry? First and foremost, please allow me to sincerely thank all of you. And that means the parties in the matter, the members of the public, the press, uh, for the support you have given this court. I took over this matter from my brother, Justice uh, Wakiaga. And uh, as much as I know there has been a bit of complaint that he's taken long, we did the best we could. Uh, we lost a bit of time during COVID when activities of the court slowed down. But take it from me. When you look at the way this matter, and I'm not blowing my own trumpet, I have no reason to. But one thing we must appreciate that this matter was being had alongside other matters. And let me say something that probably you wouldn't know. When I was presiding in the criminal division of the High Court here in Nairobi before I was transferred, I did a prison visit at the Nairobi remand, and those inmates took me on on this matter. And their question was, Panino na kimbisa kesi ya Joey na Maribe na walituacha hapa na uendeshi kesi yetu haraka. I didn't realize that we were moving fast with this matter. So for the members of the public who have felt that when we talk about only six years, it's also important to consider that uh, there are other matters. And so please, we are not making an excuse for anything, but it's good to just make an understanding and of course uh, apologize for any inconvenience that may have been caused by any delay in the hearing of this matter, but set the record clear, we did the best we could. And so I thank you for your support because other than the time we had a bit of challenge when I think Professor Nandwa had a personal issue, all the time the lawyers were in court and we were able to move on. I have not had a disruption in this matter. The press, I must really congratulate you. I have not had to someone here to say, what did you report? Except recently, which I will not talk to, but maybe I should. When I was reported to have said something which was said when I was still driving to this place and I was still on my way here. And I'm said, reported to have said that the accused person, Jacqueline Maribe, must come to court even when she's sick. I don't know, where, was it KTN or what other uh, media I was reported? Elijah Ibotu, you know you must also choose the battles to fight. Eh? 
But what I'm saying is that generally speaking, I really want to thank you. I know you are quite a number of you, and you are understanding, but I've not had any reason to complain that you have not reported these matters factually correct. So thank you very much. Please keep up the good job you're doing. For the rest of us, thank you for coming, um, supporting the judiciary as it were. Your patience with us is highly appreciated. And with that, I wish you a good day for the rest of the day. Um, for our staff, uh, the court assistant, and of course, my other good friends, I can even see one whom I've worked with for a long time, a gentleman there. Over 10, eh? Please don't say anything more. They'll start guessing my age. Okay. So thank you very much, court assistant. Unless we have any other matters that are before the court, I would request then we officially adjourn the court. Na mtazamaji hiyo ni hukumu ambayo imesomwa hivi sasa na jaji Grace Nzioka kwani Joseph Irungu maarufu kama Joey kwa hivi sasa amehukumiwa kifo. Jaji Grace Nzioka amesema kwamba amempata uh, Joey na makosa na nastahili uh, kutangamana na jamii hiyo na kumhukumu kifo. Joey alipatikana na hatia kumua mfanyabiashara Monica Kimani mwaka 2018 akisoma hukumu hiyo. Jaji Grace Nzioka amesema kwamba mahakama imezingatia masala yote aliyowasilishwa ikiwemo alivyomuua Monica na maombi ya familia ya Monica ikumbukwe kamba uh, Joey alikuwa ana ameshtakiwa pamoja na Jackie Maribe ambaye aliachiliwa huru na mahakama siku kadha zilizopita. Ni kesi ambayo imekuwa ikisubiriwa kwa hamu na hii leo jaji Grace Nzioka hatimaye ametoa hukumu ya kifo kwa Joey maarufu Joey ambaye amekuwa kihukumiwa katika kesi hiyo. Mtazamaji tutakufahamisha mengi katika taarifa zetu ambazo zinakuja kwa sasa. Uh, tutaweza tu kupata mengine kisha baadaye wanahabari wetu ambao wanafuatilia kesi hiyo watakuwa ni wenye kutueleza mengi tu kuhusiana na hayo. Naarifiwa kwamba mwanahabari wetu Ben Kirui yuko tayari na hivi sasa anaweza kutueleza kwa kina yale ambayo yamepita katika mahakama hiyo. Kirui kama una nipata naomba utueleze pengine katika kutoa au uamuzi huo jaji Nzioka alisema ni yapi mengine ambayo aliyazingatia kuweza kumpata Joey na hukumu hiyo Na mkirui kama unanipata tungependa kujua kutoka kwako umekuwa mahakamani kuanzia wakati ambapo hukumu hiyo ilikuwa inasomwa. Je, ni yapi mengine ambayo jaji Nzioka aliweza kuyazingatia kabla ya kupitisha hukumu hiyo? Na wakati Kirui anaweza kujitayarisha ni kukufahamisha tu kwamba kesi hiyo ilikuwa inaendelea kuanzia mwaka 2018 baada ya habari kuibuka kwamba Monica Kimani alikuwa ameuawa na watuhumiwa katika kesi hiyo ambao walikuwa ni Jackie Maribe pamoja na Joey wakapatikana na hatia ambapo kumekuwa na ufuatilizi wa kesi hiyo ambapo hii leo jaji aliamua kutoa uamuzi wake wa kumpata na hatia ya mauaji Joey ambapo amemhukumu kifo Uh, namba si tutakomea hapo kwa sasa iwapo tutampata mwanahabari wetu tutarejea ili tuweze kukufahamisha zaidi